Deontay Wilder breaks silence, accuses Tyson Fury of cheating. Knuckleheads, welcome to the Fighters Rep, where we give you free fights, interviews, and fight commentary from the mind of a promoter slash attorney. And both of those occupations, I think, are pretty important when discussing this particular topic. And I'll explain why in a moment. So Deontay Wilder finally came out on Saturday on social media. And I found the timing convenient considering that Tyson Fury has finally decided to move on. Considering Wilder has kind of been in the dark for all this time and not said a thing. Considering that the alleged time to make the trilogy fight has elapsed. I find the timing extremely convenient. And he's come out and he said, essentially that Tyson Fury is not a man. He's a thief. He's dishonorable. He's not giving him the fight the way Wilder gave him the fight uh, after their first match, which was ruled a draw. You all know how I feel about that one. And he also indicated... A few things in the video which, you know, concern me. They concern me not only for Deontay Wilder's mental well-being, but they concern me for Deontay Wilder from a legal standpoint even because first and foremost, he's coming off as delusional. And second off... He's putting himself, I believe, in a situation where he could potentially be sued for defamation. So essentially what he's saying is he highly believes, right? And he's put this video out there on Twitter and, you know, millions of people are probably watching this thing at this point between Twitter and Instagram. He put this thing out on Twitter where he said that he believes highly that Tyson Fury perhaps loaded something the shape of an egg, perhaps an egg weight, into his glove. And he believes that because he says, you know, the hematoma that happened on the side of his head or whatever was in that shape, and it left a dent in his skull. Now, you know, we're talking objective reality here, you know, and if I hit somebody on the head with anything, regardless of the shape, it's probably going to create a lump that's potentially the shape of an egg or a tennis ball or whatever because that's the way, you know, the human body reacts with these hematomas. But he'll have you believe that that's enough evidence, the fact that it was shaped like an egg, to indicate that Tyson Fury potentially had an egg weight in his glove. I mean... You know, that's like Looney Tune, Merry Melody level logic. I mean, when Wiley Coyote runs through the wall, right? He leaves an outline of Wiley Coyote. So, you know, when you're in Looney Tune land, you know that Wiley Coyote ran through that wall. Roadrunner probably fooled him. He ran through that Acme brick wall because it's got the shape of Wiley Coyote. But in real in real life, in objective reality, if I have the shape of an egg on my head, it doesn't mean that I got hit with an egg. It doesn't mean that I got hit with an egg weight. Also, besides accusing Tyson Fury of loading his gloves, considering the circumstances, and we'll get to that in a bit, I'm going to talk to you guys about the circumstances because I'm a promoter and I know what they are, what they typically are. Besides that, he's also indicating that Kenny Bayless is a crab in a bucket for stopping the fight, or he didn't even really stop the fight, but he was a crab in a bucket. The referee, so he's blaming the referee, he's blaming the egg weight, Tyson Fury with cheating, and he's blaming his disloyal trainer. He called Mark Breland a disloyal trainer. He's saying Mark Breland is a traitor for stopping that fight. I mean, how many more people have to indicate, right, both within the industry and out of it, how many more of these people have to indicate that this man may have saved Deontay Waters' career and life in the ring that night? 
and this man is out here calling him disloyal? You know, this statement, this statement and this video speaks volumes. It speaks volumes to the character of Deontay Water. And I got to say, I'm no longer... I'm no longer a big fan of this man's character and and I think this guy I think this guy needs to be sat down by somebody and be spoken to because the myriad excuses we've heard that have come out the water camp and people involved and associated with him has been absolutely hilarious. I mean, I can't even take it seriously. It's hilarious. And this is the proverbial cherry on top. This is the icing on the cake, man. I don't know how you come back from this unless you've got some delusional, ignorant, sociopathic fans, which which he's got a ton of them. Which he's got a ton of them. And you know, I was a fan of Wilder before this last fight. And I got to say, he's just rubbed me the wrong way. You know, he's just rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm not feeling this guy anymore. And um, I think if he did fight Tyson Fury, he'd probably get knocked out again. But, you know, if I'm Tyson Fury, I probably sue him for defamation. I mean, that's just me. You know, at this point, if you listen, if you mess with my integrity, if you mess with my reputation and you can't prove it, and your evidence is Ricky Hatton adjusting the guy's glove in a video, and a video of Tyson Fury's glove bending back and he's, as he's throwing a punch, like it always does, because he, you know, he throws slappy punches like that and cuffs people. If that's your evidence to indicate that he loaded that glove with an egg weight, considering the circumstances, then you're not going to win a defamation lawsuit, at least not in my opinion. I wanted to also discuss the circumstances. So it looks like in the state of Nevada, and this is coming from Bob Bennett, the executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission. I work with the California State Athletic Commission as a professional promoter of kickboxing, which we use the same gloves as boxing. And these commissions all pretty much use similar rules. And Bob Bennett said that there's protocol for gloves in championship fights. The gloves are factory sealed and given to the commission at most 72 hours before the fight. They're then unsealed and inspected. Fighters pick up the gloves after weigh-in, and the gloves are then again sealed and not seen by the fighters until fight night in the dressing room with an NSAC inspector in the room, a Nevada State Athletic Commission inspector in the room. And I can vouch for this, right? Because in California, they kind of do the same thing. I had to get gloves for my fighters. They had to be sealed. They had to be inspected. The inspector had to approve them. And they sit there. And they sit there and, you know, you get your hands wrapped and you're inspected. You know, I just, I just don't know how, you know, I just don't know how anybody can believe that Tyson Fury loaded egg weights into his gloves. And then Fury has previously disputed this loaded gloves claim and said that JD's, Deontay Waters' trainer, who was not going to throw in the towel, probably going to allow Wilder to get brain damage for, for good, um, examined Fury when he had his hands wrapped and his gloves put on. <clears throat> and Fury said Dees would have had to be in on it. You know, there's just so many layers. There's just so many layers of violation of the man code in this one. You know, Mark Breland is disloyal. The referee is a crab in the bucket. Tyson Fury is cheating and loaded weights into his gloves. Mind you, was, you know, was Sugar Hill Steward a part of that? I mean, he's his coach. Are you saying that he was a part of that? Ben Davison? 
saying he cheated in both fights. So, I mean, it's everybody's fault. It's everybody's fault except for Deontay Wilder. And um, and I never want to have to address this again. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is This is so far out there, you know, and with a narcissist, you know, whether you, with a narcissist, from my understanding of narcissists, you know, whether you give them good attention or bad attention, for them it's fuel either way. And I'm just not going to give these children any more fuel. Knuckleheads, welcome to the Fighters Rep again. Be sure to hit subscribe, the bell notification icon next to it. Join Knucklehead Nation. My question to you is, what do you think of this statement from Deontay Wilder? I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Hit the subscribe button below again and get your Fighters Rep gear in the link below. Anything you guys purchase gets reinvested right back into the channel. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this one. This was crazy.